Seventh stop on the Visma World Cup Women's Bob Tour. They move to the Olympic track in Whistler. Look at these pictures. Paula Walker of Great Britain in the first run. To the bottom. Jillian Cook, her brakeman. But both of these athletes would be okay, and they would also go up for the second run. But they weren't the only teams with problems. Christina Hengster in the 50-50 curve in the second heat. They crash, but they go across the finish line. Both athletes unhurt. Now, Helen Upperton, Shelly Ann Brown, their debut of the season. They missed the first half of the year. And Upperton and Brown, who won the silver medal on this track in 2012, Upperton shows she still has her talents. Bottom part of the track, posts the best time of the run, guarantees herself at least a medal, but there's two sleds yet to go. Sandra Kyriasis, Barrett Viaka. Kyriasis doesn't like this track, but the world-class driver that she is, she gets great starts. And the sled on the bottom, it was flying. 140 kilometers plus, she ducks her head for aerodynamics. She posts the best time. She bests Upperton. She puts herself in a silver medal position with only one sled to go. And that's the Olympic champion, Kaylee Humphreys, Emily Broadside. They, best time in the first run, but it was only a 300th difference. Bottom part of the track, it's five. It's gonna be close, but big speed by Humphreys. And she has the best time on her home track. So, Canada, Germany, Canada, here in the seventh World Cup in Whistler. Final standings, Kathleen Martini in force for Germany. Here's our World Cup standings. Martini, Schneider, Heinz, and Kyriasis top three as we head into the final World Cup to Calgary. For FIBT Television, I'm John Morgan.